In this lesson, we'll cover modifying levels. So we're looking at an east elevation, and we can see we have five levels created. Let's say you want to change the position of the level symbol. So zoom in around level five, click on level five, and if you uncheck mark the checkbox on the right side of level five, the symbol disappears. If you pan to the other side and check mark the checkbox, the symbol appears on that side. Or you could check mark both sides and have the symbol on both sides. Let's uncheck mark the symbol on the right so the symbol is on the left. Now let's say you want to resize the actual level lines, the lengths. You want to shorten those. If you click on level five, what you'll notice is a padlock that appears on the right and on the left, and a dashed line below the padlock. That's indicating all five levels in this position are locked together. Meaning, if you move your mouse over the little dot, hold it down and start to drag, you can actually see all the levels move in unison. If you undo the padlock or unlock it and move your mouse over the dot, now the level moves independently. If you drag it back and make it in line with the other levels, it will again relock itself to the other levels. Now, let's say you want to change the level name. Zoom in to level 5. To change the level 5 name, click slowly twice on level 5, the text. Then, when it's highlighted, type in the new name, such as Floor 5. When you hit the Enter key, Revit will ask you if you want to also rename the corresponding views. Depending on what you're using this for, you may or may not want to do that. If you do, click Yes. And as you can see in the project browser, I have floor five now instead of level five. To change the height of the level, click on the actual dimension of the level, key in the new height, and hit the enter key. Now, sometimes you may need to create a jog within the level line, depending on where it's located. When you click on the level line, a little jog symbol appears between the text. If you click that jog symbol, it produces an elbow. The elbow has drag handles. You can actually drag the handles to resize the elbow and create the jog of how you want this level now positioned from its original placement. Click anywhere in the background to deselect. So as a review, in this lesson, we looked at modifying levels. We actually looked at changing the level symbol, being able to turn it on or off on one side or both sides, we also looked at resizing the actual level length line, either resizing all the levels at once or just one level by locking or unlocking the levels. We then looked at renaming a level. And if we rename a level, do we want to also rename the views? We then looked at changing the height of the view. And lastly, we looked at adding an elbow or a jog in the level line.